Hey guys, it's Ainsley. Um, this is question and answer part two. Yeah, I did one before, part one. It's right over here. Just click on that, and you'll get to see it. Um, I'm not sure how many of the questions may overlap, because I didn't check. Tell the truth, but um, yeah, <laughs> doesn't really matter much, does it? Ah, so let's get down to it. Yeah, so the first question. Um, if you could go anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would it be and why? Now, for me, it would have to be Japan. I mean, there are a lot of places I want to go about Japan first. Reasons? I've, I've fell in love with Japan since I was a kid. Um, just reading about the culture, interacting with, um, you know, the whole video game culture as well, um, the animes, um, reading books, seeing the country, technological advances. I mean, Japan is like a whole new world, at least to me. So, yeah, definitely that's one place where I would go tomorrow and have to go that's like on my bucket list have to go to japan yeah yeah next question what is your shoe size my shoe size is one more than a regular ruler or a baker's dozen if you don't know what that is just leave me a comment and i'll tell you but yeah that's my shoe size Uh, next question, um, when am I going to visit the States? Uh, well, my brother lives in the States and um, I'm hoping I can get to visit the States this year. Um, yeah, I just need to go and get the US visa, so we'll see. But um, yeah, hopefully this year. Yeah, next question. Um, if I could interview anyone, who would it be and why? No, trust me, that is a hard, hard, hard decision to make, but um, top of the list, past my great grandfather, uh, Kobe Bryant, and um, Maria Carey, <laughs> yeah, would have to be um, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Um, just because of the impact he made on, on the world and the fact that he's Jamaican, you know. Um, I just want to, a couple of questions I'd ask him is, um, how, how does he think we've, you know, progressed since he was around and, you know, what are his thoughts? I don't think he would be impressed <laughs> at all, but yeah, um, Marcos Magasaya Garvey for sure. <clears throat> Next question. What's my favorite thing about living in Canada? And what do I miss most about Jamaica? Ah. Ah. Give me two seconds. Yeah, so I took my two seconds. Um, there are a lot of things I love about Canada. But the biggest thing is the opportunities that are here to basically do what you want to do. Um, not saying that there aren't any in Jamaica, but it's on a bigger scale here. Like, our opportunities are limited back home. That's just the truth. I mean, there. are. Um, uh, anything you can think of getting into, there's a job for it. Okay, so, yeah, just the opportunities that are here. That's the number one thing I love about Canada. What well, I miss most about home. Um, I miss my parents. Other than that, I miss the sun. I miss the green of the trees 
and um, yeah, I miss the beaches, the regular stuff. <laughs> yeah. Next question: Are you motivated on a daily basis? And um, if so, what motivates you? Yeah, I'm motivated on a daily basis. Um, what motivates me? Just the chance to one up myself and you know have a better day today than I did yesterday. I mean I grew up very competitive and it's just been a part of me this drive to always try to do better than you know where I am now. So it's it's a continuous thing, you know. I never I try never to stay um <clears throat> in one position too long and try to progress. Um yeah, whatever my parents accomplished, I try to, you know, one up whatever they have. Um, yeah, I just have that drive to do better, to be a better me, faster, stronger, wiser, more knowledgeable, what, you name it, you know. We can all be better people, and yeah, just being better is my motivation. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> Next question. What do I think about the Canadian winter? It's cool, bad. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. But I think it's um, my bones being replaced with ice where there once was sun. So my sun-soaked bones are now becoming filled with chilling ice. So yeah, I mean, when it hits zero, it doesn't feel, really feel as cold as it, cold as it did when I got here. So yeah, <clears throat> it's not as bad. I mean, I haven't experienced anything under minus 15 yet, so maybe I'm talking too soon. But yeah, Toronto winter, at least this year, isn't bad. And uh. If you want to see exactly how I feel about it, you can check out these videos over there. Yeah. I actually did some reports <laughs> when um, I couldn't figure out what was going on with the weather. Next question. <laughs> Who's my favorite sister-in-law? No, Kristen, you know it has to be you because you're... <laughs> I only got one brother, and he only has one wife. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You're my favorite. See you sometime this year. Hopefully. And, um, <clears throat> last question. When will your book be published? Um, I'm not sure if she's serious or not, but, um, <clears throat> I can't put a definite date on that. I'm actually writing down some points for a book right now um, on some experiences I had in Jamaica so yeah um, can't put a date on it but we'll see what happens yeah yeah and the last question what does it mean to be Jamaican in Toronto it means that you're a part of a diverse culture I mean, one of the most diverse in the world. So you share in a lot of different foods. And yes, I'll try any one of those dishes <laughs> at least once. And um, I've, I've really found some very interesting ones. Ones I'll eat again. Some I might eat again. <laughs> and um, yeah. Um, in terms of sports and um, other aspects of different cultures all around the world it's a wonderful place to be I mean if you love even going on hikes um, jogging running whatever you like to do it's all there in front of you no holes barred so um, yeah being a Jamaican in Toronto very interesting experience yeah so that's it I think I answered all the questions if I didn't 
hit me in the inbox or <coughs> the comments below and let me know what you think uh, till the next time see you guys peace